welcome back to the channel guys i hope you are doing well wherever you are today as you can see i am in the kitchen yesterday we harvest our watermelon and today i'm going to share with you how we make our watermelon juice yesterday was too long guys so i had to break it in two so here is the watermelon and this is one of the biggest watermelon that we harvest on our homestead this is our first year um not growing but this is our first year we have a really good success with our watermelon and today i want to share with you how i make my juice as you can see here guys i have my um two lemons here i have ginger and i have some containers and i save these containers guys just to show you that you can save a lot of money on saving the containers that you purchase from the supermarket with your um these are uh coconut coconut milk containers so you can always save them i left this one to show you all you have to do is just get a knife and you can just slice and um, take this off, peel this off, and you have a really good, good container that you can reuse, right? So you can always do that and save money on containers, right? I have another one that we bought green juice in, and so I'm gonna use them to put my water juice, watermelon in, okay? So here we go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this watermelon juice for you guys as I've been promising you that I wanna get that done for you. But before I get into it, guys, you know that watermelon is a nice, delicious, refreshing juice that is very, very healthy for your body, right? It's not just for you, but also for the children. Mixing watermelon and the lemon and ginger together, it's not just um, refreshing and delicious, it's also cleansing to the body. You know, watermelon um, helps to cleanse the liver, the kidney, it's anti-aging. I mean, if you wanna look beautiful like I'm looking here today, <laughs> go ahead and drink up your watermelon juice, right? And I mean, it's easier to just make juice instead of, you know, you have to cut it and slice it through and eat it. You can do that as well, but this is another way you can preserve your watermelon by just um, juicing them and put them in your freezer and it could last longer and you don't have to worry about the spoilage of your watermelon. You can put these bottles in your freezer, bigger bottles, depending on how much watermelon you have, all right? So let's go ahead and get into making this watermelon juice. All right, family, I'm gonna go ahead and put my apron on because watermelon can be very messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on because I don't wanna mess up my my outfit so if you have one of these at home just slip it on if you have on something that you don't want to get messed up by your watermelon juice so i'm going to go ahead and slice that up and we're going to start juicing all right i mean i'm just going to go ahead and slice them into um like long slices so they can go in my juicer depending it just depending on what type of juicer you have i'm just going to slice them in a way where it goes into my juicer very easily so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half because this is a big watermelon so i'm gonna cut it in half first and then we'll just go from there look at that guys look at that watermelon look how beautiful this watermelon looks guys look at that watermelon it's nice and red all right let's slice this up and i'll be right back okay fam so i'm just gonna slice this in half like so or even break it apart oh my goodness I have to taste it. Mm -mm -mm. I have to taste it before I start it. Mm -mm. It is so sweet, guys. I have to taste it. Sorry. All right, fam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slice these up. I'm going to slice them like so. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out from the skin. So it just depends on your juicer that you're using. Just like so, like this, and then I'm gonna, you know, stick it into the juicer. Don't forget you can save your seeds. Some of your seeds is good to save, especially if you have a nice watermelon like this one. You don't have to pick your seeds out from your watermelon to juice it, but all I'm doing is just trying to save some seeds because this is a really nice watermelon, so I wanna make sure I get some of the good seeds that are coming from this watermelon. I need those so I can plant them next year. All right, 
fam. So now that I've got all my watermelon together, you're gonna just take a piece of your ginger, wash it off really well, and then you can just scrape it. You don't even have to scrape it. All you have to do is just wash it really well. Make sure that your ginger is nice and clean, and then you can go ahead and peel your lemon. Now for the lemon, guys, I would suggest that you peel off, you know, that the inner part of it, peel off the uh, white part of it because if, if not, your juice may become uh, bitter. Okay, family, so as you can see, my watermelon is ready. Um, I have my ginger, my two lemon, and I have my bottles and my pitcher that I'm gonna put my juice in. And so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my juicer. So here we go. We have our watermelon juice. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. It is a very simple way of making a uh, juice at home and healthy juice at the same time. No sugar. All you have is your ginger and your lemon. And why not make this at home? Um, you know, it's healthy. You save money and not just your uh, container, but you save money on juice that you, you don't have to buy um, unhealthy juice that is filled with lots of sugar to feed your family. So here you have a nice healthy juice is very refreshing, very delicious, it's hot. This is the perfect juice for the summer. And as you can see, I have me a nice glass with a slice of lemon and I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Guys, I am telling you, this is the juice to have. So stay tuned for many more juices to come. See, I have my kombucha bottle here and I will be making kombucha uh, maybe not the next video, but stay tuned for that video that will be coming out soon And I'm gonna be doing quite a few fermentation Products on the channel. So stay tuned for those videos coming up and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video It was pretty simple to do and you can do it at home. So I will see you guys in the next one Please walk good and let's grow together and stay in your purpose. Okay. See you in the next one Bye-bye